Hi guys, today we'll be configuring our favorite Porsche currently sold in America. First, we've got to select the region where we'll be building our Porsche. For this video, we'll be building the Porsche assuming we live in America. Next, we got a filter by the model we'd like to build. Now, for some reason, the Macan comes up as the auto filtered model. I'm not sure if that's just an accident or a message that Porsche is selling a lot of Macans right now, so they're making it easy for builders to find the Macan right away. For us, we'll filter and pick up a 911. Now, unfortunately, the Porsche 918 is no longer sold, so we'll have to settle for a 911 today. Once you've selected a 911, you can scroll down and select from a variety of different models, whether you want a Carrera, a Carrera T, a Targa, a GTS model, a turbo model, or a GT3 model, or GT2 RS model. Now, for this video, we'll be building a Targa GTS. I've always liked the look of a Targa. I think the glass cover on the back is really unique and stands out in a GTS because GTS is Porsche's best of breed models. So let's go ahead and start building. All right, so we're in Porsche's configurator. Let's take a quick look around to see what kind of optionalities there are. It looks like we have a standard six pictures to work with. Not bad. The interior seems to have some nice detail in there. On the screen, there's a Targa 4 GTS emblem which is kind of cool because that's the car we're configuring. So I like that little attention to detail to put the model name in the configurator photo. Quick thing that I noticed right away is that there are five blank buttons on this console. Even though this Porsche is well over 100,000, I'm not sure why Porsche would allow blank buttons in such an expensive car. That seems a little bit strange. Moving on through, there's another interior photo, and then we're back to the start. These are some nice high-resolution photos, and look at that back Targa design. I love seeing that glass piece right here. It's so cool and so distinctive. Now let's proceed with our selections. So the first thing to select is a color. I have to say it doesn't look bad in this white, but I'm thinking probably a black. No, it seems a bit too strong. A metallic color, which seems to cost an extra, an extra $720. What about jet black metallic? Pretty cool, but I still think pretty dark. Night blue, not bad. But I think this is my favorite color. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's nice. That's sleek. But not too sleek. Just stands out the right amount. Now we could also have a special color, which is over $3,000, like a nice Miami blue. Let's see what happens. Wow, that looks quite nice, but I'm not sure I'd want that on an everyday basis as it's quite loud. But it does look pretty cool. A 
Portion red. I've always thought of portion red just didn't make sense. Red was a bit of a Ferrari color, but I'll have to say it doesn't look bad in this shade of red. All right, so I'm going to go with this gray metallic for $720 and move on to the convertible top color. So in this Targa model, the top is just a very simple cover right in this section of the car. A couple of options, I guess we could have it black, but we can't see the top. So let's press this little button here. It's really unique on the Porsche configurator and you can close the top with the click of a button. Okay, that looks pretty good. I like the gray on black look. Let's see what else we have. Blue, I'm not sure that makes sense with the gray. Brown, I don't think that makes sense with the gray either, and it's really hard to tell the difference. Ah, here we go. So blue, not sure that makes sense. A brown, I'm not a fan of that. Let's see what a nice roof in red would look like, and I think that's pretty standout. Let's check that out. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So it's a little bit loud, but I think it's quite standout, quite cool. So I'll keep that red. Now let's proceed onwards to the wheels. Looks like there's two options. We could have the Turbo S wheels, which are currently fitted. They look pretty nice. Or we could have the standard Carrera wheels fitted. Let's give it a quick look. So those are standard Carrera wheels. They look pretty nice. And then if we go to the turbo wheels, I think they look pretty nice as well, but they're just a bit better. So I'll keep these. Let's see what kind of wheel accessories we can go with. So we could have our wheels painted in silver for no extra cost. Let's see what that would look like. Oh, some things come up here. It looks like we can't have the Turbo S wheels painted in silver because this option will be removed if I choose to paint my wheels in silver. We can only have the Carrera S wheels painted in silver. Interesting. Not sure why the Turbo S wheels don't come in silver, but proceeding onwards. Let's take another quick look. I think that looks pretty good, but I like them more in black. Now we could also have the wheels painted in the same color as the exterior of the car, and let's see what that would look like. So you'd have gray painted wheels on a gray painted car actually doesn't look that bad it looks pretty good but i still think i prefer the black so we'll remove that option and save ourselves 650 bucks now before i proceed further i have to just show you this really cool feature on the porsche configurator site and it is this volume button if you play it you get some pretty wicked engine notes played. Now I love that attention to detail. Porsche has recorded the startup sound, a rev, a drive away, 
and then fly by. Pretty cool. They could have just done a startup, for example, but they went the extra mile and recorded the car leaving and then flying by as well. And of course, it sounds wicked. All right, so now that we're back to our interior selections, let's see what kind of options we have. So I like how the configurator automatically goes to the interior photo once I've scrolled to the interior colors and materials section right here. And there's also another button here, which has now been replaced by the view exterior button. But for example, if I was to go up, there is there's a button here where you can just press and view the exterior right away. But I like how it's smart. And once you're in the interior colors and seats section, it automatically changes to the interior photo. And this button here becomes a view exterior photo. Nice touch Porsche, saving people some time. All right, so in terms of interior colors, there seems to be quite a lot of choices. The differences being that you could have an interior with Alcantara, a leather interior with Alcantara, that costs another $3,850. A leather interior with Alcantara, not sure what the difference is between this section and this section. And then you could have a purely leather interior with no Alcantara for anywhere between $3,850 to $4,280. Or you can go to sport tax seats, which are again, 3850 or natural leather interior for about 5,000 to $6,000, depending on the color selection. Now I'm not sure what the difference is between the natural leather section and just getting a leather interior section. It seems like these are about 3,800 and these are about 5800 Not sure why there's a $2,000 difference, but someone let me know if you do know. Now, I personally like the look and feel of Alcantara, so I'll be going with a leather and Alcantara interior. Let's see. So we have a black interior option, which... Okay, it looks like something came up here when I selected one of the options. It looks like because I've selected this standard interior black leather Alcantara option, it's automatically also adding seat heating and seat ventilation functions for a total of $1,500. Now I'm sure I can probably remove these later. Um, seems interesting that they'd be automatically added, but let's just proceed forwards and look what that would look like on the car. Very nice, I think, personally. I like the black on black interior. Okay, now here's um, us selecting a GTS interior package for total cost of $7,140 between the leather Alcantara costing $3,850 and the GTS interior package costing another $4,000. And let's see what that includes. Okay, so a couple of options here. Stitching in contrasting colors, seat belts in contrasting colors, GTS logo on headrest floor, mats with contrasting colors. Basically, there's some carbon fiber and some contrasting colors on many surfaces, including the tachometer here. It seems like quite a lot of money for contrasting color stitching and some red on the dashboard, personally, but 
Anyways, I do like this attention to detail that Porsche has put in to show you a photo of what this would look like with the red stitching along the door panels, along the seats, in the dash. I quite like that. Nice attention to detail Porsche. You can see the red stitching better here. On the seats, the GTS logo, on the dash. Yep, that's nice attention to detail on your configurator Porsche, so well done, even though I think that package is very expensive. Let's just add it and see what it looks like. It does look pretty cool. I think it like makes the car look even sportier, even nicer, even more aggressive. So I'll keep that for now. Let's see what other options there are. Natural leather. I'm curious what this would look like, this cognac color. It sounds very sophisticated. All right, so it seems like when I add my cognac interior natural leather for $5,800, I also have to add one of the following options. Steering wheel in leather or a heated multifunction sports steering, steering wheel in carbon fiber. Now, is there a photo of what that would look like? Nice. Again, very nice attention to detail Porsche. I can notice that, again, it says Targa 4 GTS here on the dash. That's awesome. You could have put any dash here, but I like how this specifically says uh, the model that we're working on. And I like how there's a photo of the steering wheel here with the carbon fiber. That's a nice touch. Now, I personally don't like the look of that, so I won't be getting the carbon fiber steering wheel. Let's just go with the steering wheel in leather. Ooh, I think that's a bit bright for me. I don't like that color selection. It doesn't really look the car, it doesn't really make the car look mean and aggressive, which is what I'd want for my Porsche 911 Targa GTS. Makes the car look more of like a GT Cruiser or something that's meant to be more laid back, which is not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go back and switch to my black leather option. Actually, I quite like the look of that stitching in GT, GTS package, so I'll be selecting that instead. All right, there you go. So there's that, and clearly there are a ton more options and colors you can look through, but I think this is my favorite selection, so I'll be proceeding forwards. So next, you can select the type of seat you'd like. I think just the regular sports seats with 14 way with four way adjustability is fine for me. And then you could scroll down and pick from a bunch of other options here. As you can tell, the options are almost endless. But let's make some quick selections on options. So it looks like these options are again relating primarily to the seats, whether you want an 18-way adjustable seat, a 14-way adjustable seat, or a premium plus 18-way adjustable seat with ice. Let's see what would be included. Now moving on to the exterior. Most of these options are around whether you want to delete the model logo, whether you want to change the full name of the car, which is a 911 Targa 4 GTS to just a 911. And then a couple of other more odd features that I thought I'd point out. So the first is a rear wiper. Now I have never seen a rear wiper on a Porsche 911. So there you go. I like the fact that they've included a photo of what this would look like and it kind of makes me laugh. Check that out. It's a wiper on the back of the glass section of this Targa 911. And I gotta say that does not look good to me. And I'm not sure why it's showing me the car in red in this photo. 
if we take a look back, it looks like the exterior is in red, which is not the color that I've selected. So it looks like Porsche has just taken a standard photo with a wiper on it and put it on this site instead of picking up the exact color that I've selected for my car and then adding the wiper to it to make it more realistic. So again, a bit of a easy way out. I would have preferred if the actual model in the color that I've selected showed up here. So I won't be going with the rear wiper, but I think some power folding exterior mirrors sound pretty good. You gotta fold those in to make sure they don't get nicked when you park in a parking lot or on the side of a street. And then there are a couple of other options you could select. Let's see, for, for now I think I like to get my door handles in high gloss black. That sounds pretty cool. Let's see what that would look like. Oh, it looks like again, Porsche did not think this option merited an individual photo. So they've just gone with a standard Porsche emblem photo here, a bit disappointing, but proceeding onwards. Fuel cap and aluminum look. Yes, please, I'll have a, I'll have that. That kind of reminds me of a bit of a race car. Let's see what it would look like. Ah, Porsche has provided a photo here, and I do like the, the look of that, but I will say again, disappointingly, the exterior color I selected is not yellow, and it looks like Porsche has not gone through the trouble of showing you the car in the color that you've actually selected. All right, and the last option on the exterior that I'll be selecting is the Targa bar in silver, because I've seen a few Targas with this bar in silver, and I think they look pretty wicked. And let's see, has Porsche provided a photo? Yes, very nice. It looks pretty cool. Wow, they've actually provided a few photos, but again, disappointingly, the car is not in the color that I've selected. They've just provided a standard red model. But that being said, if you actually close out and look at this part of the configurator, you'll see that the bar has been made silver here. So that's actually pretty cool. You can see it real life. And I think that combination looks pretty wicked right now. I love the look of that car. All right, so let's proceed onwards here. Performance. We could select a manual seven speed transmission for zero extra dollars or a seven speed PDK for $3,700. Now being an enthusiast, I'll definitely have to go with the seven speed manual transmission. I love rowing through the gears and I would love rowing th through them in this Porsche 911. A couple of other options, you could get rear axle steering ceramic brakes or a front axle lift kit amongst other things. I think if you were going to go with a real hypercar, something like a Koenigsegg, a Pagani, Zonda, something just crazy, even a Ferrari or a Lamborghini, those cars are a lot lower. But the 911 was always meant to be your everyday driver's car. So it's not as low to the ground as other cars, so I really don't think you need this front axle lift system unless you live in an area with a lot of speed bumps. But I will say the poor ceramic composite brakes are pretty tempting, especially if you're going to use the car on track. So let's go ahead and select those in case this car will be used on a track. On the interior, you can make a few more options like getting the GTS package we've already selected and a few driver assist programs like lane change assist, etc. I do like the sound of automatic dimming mirrors. There's nothing like getting blinded at night when someone's headlights are coming through and bouncing off your mirrors. A heated steering wheel I think is critical if you live in cold uh, cold state in the US and 
what else? Some seat ventilation. Of course, I mean, if you're gonna go high end, get a car that costs 160 grand, might as well get some seat ventilation. A smoking package, now what is that? That sounds interesting. Again, here are the blank buns I was showing before. Kind of disappointing they'd be on a car this expensive. Not sure why Porsche does that. I mean, I know why Porsche does that because it's easier to have a console that can be used a few across multiple models with uh, each model getting the buns it needs. And obviously this 911 doesn't require all um, 10 buns, but still disappointing that they'd leave them in the car this expensive. Oh, I see the smoking package is just an ashtray and cigarette lighter in the center console. I didn't even know cars could still come with these options, but I suppose they do. I definitely, well, hang on a second. I won't be getting that option. That was accidental. Let me remove that and proceed onwards. Anything else that looks interesting? Wow, you can get your vehicle keys painted. Let's see what that would look like. Interesting, so it looks like the key can be painted to match your car's color. This is clearly a car that was in Miami blue. Again, it doesn't look like this fob is changing for the color that I've selected on my car. Interesting. Now, I don't think that's necessary, especially for $540. I do think the Sport Chrono stopwatch dial should be in red, especially if you've gotten the GTS package and your tachometer is in red. Nice. So there you go. It's in red. They've included it in the, in the photograph here. That's a nice touch. And looking through the options, it does look like it's almost never ending. You can get seat belts in red is another option. Doesn't look like they are included here in the photographs. Let's see here. Actually, this car, if these are the seat belts, I assume, it looks like this car has seat belts in yellow, so not the red that I've selected. But anyways, I think we can all imagine what that would look like. And um, personally, for me, that's too much over the top, so I won't be selecting seat belts in red. It looks like you can basically get them in multiple colors, including Miami blue, interestingly enough. You can then select your leather interior. But I think I've already made enough selections above. So I won't be going through this um, particular section, but you can get, you know, your gear lever in leather, for example, should you want that extra touch. It looks like it doesn't get updated in this photo once I've selected this option. But anyways, I won't be going too much in depth here. You can select different options on your Alcantara, should you have selected Alcantara or one had Alcantara elsewhere. Again, I don't think that's necessary. I've made enough selections there. You can add some carbon fiber to the interior. For example, that carbon fiber steering wheel we looked at before, or you can get your gear lever and carbon fiber. And again, let's see, does it, does it make a difference? I don't think the photo is updated, so no, they haven't updated that for the selection. Oh, no, I was wrong. Actually, if you look closely enough, once I select this option, there is a minor change to the gear, to the gear lever, but I think it's more on the back of the lever that you can't see, but that's a nice touch Porsche, changing the gear lever for the selection. All right, so as you can tell, there's an endless option list for the interior, including aluminum. But proceeding onwards to our audio and communication section, 
voice control. I mean, if it's zero dollars, why wouldn't you include that? Then you can add a Bose sound system or a Burmaster sound system. And I mean, in any Porsche, the engine note should be the center audio being played. So I think I'll just go with the regular Bose. We don't need the Burmaster. The engine note should be uh, the main sound system in this car. All right, and then for my delivery experience, you can either get it delivered in Atlanta or LA at the Porsche Center, Porsche Experience Center delivery, or you could pick it up in Europe. I think I'll be picking it up in Europe because you can then take the car on a blast on the Autobahn, and that's really one of the few places you would, you'll be able to really tap into this car's full potential from a top speed perspective. So we're done. The car as selected is 154000 from a base price of 139000 That's actually not bad. It's less than twenty nine. It's less than 20000 over the base price. And considering this is a high-end vehicle, the options uh, we selected could have gone much, much higher in terms of uh, price on top of the base price. Let's see what the overview looks like. Okay, so there's our car as selected. And she looks good. Nice gray exterior on black wheels, the, the 911 turbo wheels, silver target bar, the red target top. Nice. Now I wonder if you can change the color of these calipers. Someone let me know if that was an option I missed, but I didn't see anything where you could change the color of these calipers to, for example, a red. And you'll notice that I did select door handles in high gloss black, but they're not updated here on the Porsche configurator. So I think, again, this is something that could be added in the future, that extra level of detail. The interior, it looks like we removed G the GTS package at one point and just went with the, the red Sport Chrono background here with the black leather it looks pretty cool but i do want to add that gts package again because i like that red stitching and the few other options so let's go back and just make those changes right now I guess I could just go back here at the top. There's a menu for exterior, interior, and other options. So we'll go interior, and then we will go with, I believe it's this that has the GTS package. Perfect, there's the GTS interior package. Very nice, okay, so now we have raised the price to 161,000. 690 so that's a little bit more than before but i think the gts package really adds that extra flair of uh, sportiness aggression just what a 911 should look like all right so let's scroll out of this right now show overview again make sure this is the car we wanted yes that nice exterior that we spoke about before and then the interior yep yeah, there it is it's got the red tachometer background the red stitching on the door the seats and elsewhere and it looks like when you add the gts package it does remove the red background on the sport chrono dial not sure why that is but i guess porsche didn't want you to have two red backgrounds potentially. Maybe they thought it was too much. Anyways, I think this is just enough and it looks really good. So let's, yep, there it is. You have your GTS logo on the seats. It looks really, really nice. 
let's move onwards and um, see what the options are now. So here's the options list that we went through and selected with the price per option. And then I think interestingly, a couple of things to point out. First, if you press this button here, you'll see the estimated monthly lease payment, assuming a couple of different factors that you can change like the down payment percentage, the term of the lease and the annual allowed mileage with this amount changing as you change your inputs, or if you want to finance the car, here's the estimated finance payment on a monthly basis, assuming a down payment of 10%, which you can change here again, the term, which can be changed again, and the annual percentage rate. All right, so there you go. That gives you a better idea of what the car would cost you, whether you leased or financed it. And then you can do a couple of neat options like contact a dealer, see what other cars are on sale currently, or press this button right here, create a Porsche code, which is kind of unique because it basically gives you a unique code right here that you can then use to look up the car you've configured once you've closed your browser. So here is um, the website, you would copy this website into another browser window and I think it would take you directly to the configurator with the options you've previously selected. So essentially just saving your options if you want to take a look at them in the future and you don't want to go through selecting them all over again. I think that's a nice touch and it makes it easier for people to come back, see what they've done, show friends and family, take another look, and finally place that order. All right, so there's our Porsche code. I've saved it, I've written it down. You can also save your configuration here, print it, share it, or continue if you think you've missed something. But I guess ultimately you would press dealer contact and you would get your Porsche um, purchase started this way. Now we won't be doing this. This is just a fantasy walkthrough of a Porsche configurator. If I was able to buy a 911 Targa for GTS, this is what it would look like, but I won't be ordering it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll catch you next time soon. Oh, 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 oh,